career and welcome to Crafted by Kaya. Today we are going to learn how to design 3D letters in Cricut Design Space. So this is what our design is going to look like towards the end. Of course I've already made these. I'm just going to show you how I design them. It's actually pretty simple once you get down to it. So once you are done you will have letters that look like this. So this is going to be our outcome right here. So I'm going to click new and show you how I do it. So the first thing you're going to do, you are going to need your templates. So you can click the link down below and get the templates that I have, or you can go into Etsy and um, search 3D letter templates and a bunch of them will pop up or you can just click the link down below and get exactly the templates that I have. So I am going to go to upload. Of course, I already have my letters in here. I'm just gonna show you one letter because it's done all the same with all the letters. There's no difference. So you're gonna go to upload image, browse, downloads, and we're gonna go here to our 3D letters. You're gonna hit open. And we're going to click on letters. So all your letters are here. So we're going to start with E because my daughter's name is Emery. And you're going to click on E. Then you can go to SVG. Now you have two files in here. You have the single line score and you have the dash line score. I wouldn't worry about this down here. Always click on the dash line. We're going to hit open. Cut image. Upload. Click add to canvas. Now, how these letters come in is the size that, I didn't change the size. Now, if for some reason you want to make it bigger, what you're gonna have to do is bring in, excuse me, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see the whole template. What you're gonna have to do is bring in each letter and then um, you're going to have to make like, a square like your mat size. So for instance, it will be a 12 by 12. So you'll go to images. I lied, you'll go to shapes. You will do square and open up there and then you'll do 12 by 12, enter. And so then you will take Let's ungroup this and we'll just group these two. No, I don't want to group. We'll just group all these together. You'll group that together. And so you'll have to take this image and then, um, well, really, it will be your pause. Let me back up. I'm moving too fast. So let's ungroup this. You will take your biggest letter, which everyone has like the biggest pieces. So say for E is my biggest letter because it has, say this piece was the longest piece. So all these will need to be grouped so that it will change the size at the same time. And so you'll just have to stretch it until it fits on your 12 by 12. So this is how you can make it bigger. So, zoom out, there we go. Move this over. So, if you wanted to make your E any bigger, this is as big as, nope, because this is hanging off, so it'll have to be a little bit smaller. So this is as big as you can make your E, so it'll be 24, by 44 and 11 by 69. So then you would just go into bringing your other letters and then you'll just change your letters to that size so that they'll all be the same size. But I don't want mine to be any bigger than how it came in. So I'm just gonna delete 
delete just so I don't confuse myself and just re-upload it. Okay, so here is my template. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and change the color to whatever color I want my letter to be. So this letter is going to be pink. So I'm gonna change them all to pink. Now I'm going to ungroup for a second because I need to duplicate this E just for design purposes. And then we're gonna flip that horizontal, move that out the way. <clears throat> okay, so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. So this E right here, you see it has these shapes. You have a square, you have a triangle, you have a circle. And on these pieces right here, you have a square, you have a triangle and a circle. This is showing you where each piece is going to go. So the square, you know, is going to go on the top and around. The triangle is going to start here and go around. And the circle is going to finish off here and come back down around. I will suggest that when you cut this, because when you pull this E up, these are going to disappear. So what I suggest is that you get a pencil and lightly write what are these pieces for, because if you don't, you're gonna have a hard time figuring out which piece goes where. So since this goes here, I'll say this is the top. Right here, I'll say side, and this one I'll write bottom, just so I know where those pieces go. So remember that. Um, all of these pieces right here is gonna be cut on cardstock. We're not cutting this E out, we're just using this for design purposes only. So we're going to move this, we're going to group it, and I'm going to hide it just to get it out the way. So this is my E. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an internal offset. So everybody knows about the offset button. If you don't, click here, you click offset. So this, it goes around it to make offset around it. If you go back towards your left and go this way, it makes an inner one so it's on the inside so for this one i did 0.111 for my internal offset and then you're going to hit apply so this is my internal offset i'm gonna move this out the way so this is where my image is going to go so the design we're doing is baby shark so whatever design you're doing that is the image you will use you can get your images off of Etsy, you can get off Creative Fabrica, you can get it off of Google. So I'm going to use this picture right here. We're gonna add it to my canvas. You upload it the same way as you uploaded anything else. So we're gonna make her a little bit bigger. We're gonna take my E, gonna click, right click, bring to the front. So we can put her on top of my image. So you decide where you want your E to be. Now, when I first did this, I had all my letters in here. So I ended up dragging my picture out to fit them all. But I like this little pink thing right here. So that's where I'm going to place my E. So once you get it where you want it to go. No, I don't want to resize it. I just want to move it a little bit there. So you're going to select both by dragging and then you're gonna hit slice. So once you slice it, this you can delete, this you can delete. And now we have our image. So group that did i delete my e i deleted my e all right it was just for design purposes anyway but let's ungroup we're gonna copy i mean not copy we're gonna duplicate flip horizontal all right so then boom right click bring to the front. So this is how it will look. You will have your image on there. So now all we have to do is bring in our other images for a design. So on the E, I have my coral and I have my um, 
I have Mama Shark. So I'm gonna add that. Mama Shark ain't showing up, but I'm not gonna re-upload her. So we're just gonna go to upload. We're gonna go to view all. Sorry guys, I don't know why my computer is running really slow today. But yeah. Looking for Mama Shark. There she is. We're gonna click add to canvas. Click canvas, click cancel, and then there she is. So, of course, she came in super big, so we're going to resize her. So, now you just decide where you want. So, I want my curl to go here. I don't want it that big, so I'm going to resize it and then kind of move it how I want. And then same with Mama Shark. I know I want her here. I don't want her that big. So I know I kind of want her hanging off and tilted. So then I'll tilt her that way. This is just for design purposes. So this is how it will look. Okay, so we got cut off. So right here, so we have our images. These are print and cut. To make it a 3D, you have to do offset. So for my little coral, I'm going to click on it, click offset, and I'm going to do, we're going to do 0 0.028. We're going to do 0 0.028. Then you're going to hit apply. And then we want to change that to a basic cut because it's going to automatically do a print and cut because you didn't run a print and cut image. And then you're going to change the color. So the first one is going to be, um, it's like a, I'm going to do yellow. Yellow. So then the same thing with Mama Shark. Offset, it should already be there. Boom. Hit apply. And then again, change it to basic. And then yellow. So now we're gonna come over here in our layers panel and click the offset because we wanna do an offset, off our offset to make it 3D. So then for this offset, we're gonna do 0 0.048 and we're gonna hit apply. And it's already on basic cut because we did an offset around a basic cut and I'm gonna change that. It's gonna be like an orangish reddish color yeah, I'll change it to that. And so then the same thing for Mama Shark, make sure you click on the offset in your layers panel, come to offset, it's gonna be 0 0.48, you're going to hit apply, and then you're going to change the color. So now we have our offset. See, you have your three offsets. So that's how you're gonna make it 3D. You will be using foam tape, for that to do the 3D effect. Now, this is what I did to my E, so you'll do that to all of your letters, however, whatever images that you want to use. So once you have all that completed, we're gonna go here and we're going, oh, there goes my E that I thought disappeared. Delete, so here we go. Now, these right here, we have to do one more step before we can actually send it to cut. So if I were just to go right now and hit make without doing this step I'm about to show you, it's going to have our print and cut images, and then we have our basic cut. So as you can see, our dash lines are not connected to our pieces. That's because we have to do this next step. So you have to make sure you do this next step or you're going to be very frustrated when everything cuts and you don't have your score lines and you're going to have to fold it by yourself and then your letter is going to look all janky. So what you're going to do is come over here in your layers panel or you can just click on it. So I'm going to click on this one right here. It's going to take me to it. You are going to click the cut file dash hit the control button and click the picture under it to put those together. You're going to hit attach. What you're doing is attaching the dash line to the actual cut. So it will cut our dash lines on 
that way it won't be a separate cut. So you're going to do the same thing for each one. Control, attach. The last one, control, attach. Then we'll hit make. On mat, 12 by 12. And then boom. So we have our printing cuts. These will be on photo paper. And now we have our dash lines on. So it will cut the dash lines for you. Don't worry about your little pieces right here. And then we have our E right here. And then we have our other two. We have our offsets cut right here. So for one letter, I have five mats. I can tell you that when I... um did Emery's name. I think I had 15 or 16 mats. I think I had like four print and cut pages and the rest was cardstock. So I don't have my Cricut on, but anyway, for your print and cut, it's going to show your screen is going to look like this. So you're going to hit send to printer. Preparing to print. Preparing to print. Okay, so make sure you have your right printer selected. This is my regular inkjet printer. I have the Epson 2803. My bleed is on. I'm going to use system dialog and then I'm going to, excuse me, hit print. I don't want no rips and chains and keep telling me no. You with your loving on me, baby, with your loving on me. All right. So then this is going to pop up. I'm going to hit preferences. I don't know why it's glitching like this, but it's going to automatically be on plain paper. You're going to click on premium photo paper glossy, and you're going to hit high, and then you're going to hit OK, and then you will hit print. I'm not going to hit print because, of course, I already printed it. So then once that is down here, it'll have, once it's printed, it'll have the options of what to cut. Make sure you click photo paper and then just put in your cutter and cut. And then once that is complete, you will cut out all of your card stock pieces. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And so that is all it is to it in designing in Cricut. I hope this video was helpful. In the next one, I will show you how to assemble. So make sure you click on the next video so you can figure out how to assemble. My name is Jakea Creer. I am the owner of Crafted by Kea. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.